Hi Aries, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back. I hope you're well and safe and I hope uh, things are changing around, uh, around you as well as they are changing here. I'm using the Vice Versa deck and I'm also using the un uh, Unknown Wild Tarot deck, the uh, Animal Oracle deck and or the Spirit and the Surrender deck. And this is your reading for the 11th to the 17th of May 2020. If you would like to get in contact with me, then have a look at the information below or click on this white dot and it will take you to the website. Now you've got the Empress card. Um, this is the Empress, Empress and you've got the reverse side. And this, this side, it means um, that it's the same as the front but it means tempering as uh, something might be slower to get um, get off the ground and you've got the sign of life here that's Hebrew for life um, and she does represent life she nurtures uh, the, the, the corn and the she's got green fingers she's like the queen of pentacles she's also known as mother earth isn't she beautiful? I love this deck. She's even got a shield. So she could be, uh, she's shielding, shielding the crop. She's nurturing, she's harvesting. She stands for uh, fertility, birth, birth of a child, birth of a project, like a new job, a hobby, a new beginning. And she nurtures what she has sown so that she can harvest it can grow and it can come to fruition and harvest now when with the reverse side it means it might take a little bit longer temperance that's the word that comes to mind underneath here you have the seven of vessels so the seven of vessels means the seven of cups and it says mourning. Um, perhaps you are mourning about something because it's not taking such a, a, a speed to get things off the ground. Perhaps you are sad. But the Seven of Cups in the traditional tarot means dreams, goals, wishes. And some, uh, somehow or rather your goals are being stagnated. This could be because of the period that we are in with this COVID-19 but it could also be because you have turned your back on your dreams or your goals or your wishes. So my advice with this card is make a priority list or pro and con list and see which dream could come out first, which is the easiest. This will motivate you to carry on and do the next one. Then you have the three of coins and here uh, let me see. Here he's got recognition, so you've got the right side. Um, his teacher is watching him, working hard and diligently. That's the apprentice. And here he's got no recognition. Okay. Here he he is waiting to get instructed as to what to do. So here you've got the recognition um, for your hard work you might be getting a promotion because you're getting recognition you are creative enough as that is number three and you've got three three line next to each other so you've got an angel number you have to come into action in order to get that new beginning start started it won't happen by itself you've got three and three is six and you've got the six of bows now the six of bows are the six of ones. Okay, the six of ones is like the um, the the knight that comes in on the back of a horse. He's got recognition. Well, it's also be, um, below the three of pentacles, so this confirms that you've got public recognition as well, not only from your boss or from somebody that employs you or from 
such a teacher, but you've got public recognition and you've got victory. You're moving onwards and upwards. You might be moving home or moving to a new job. Okay, that is on Wednesday. Now, on the Friday, you have the Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles brings you news. This could be about something that is durable and for long term. This could be something that you can touch. It's material. It's earth signs. Virgo, Capricorn or Taurus. They could giving, be giving you a message as well. But it's, or you could be meeting them, but it could be it is something for long term it could be a job could be a hobby it could be something else but you'll be receiving news it is uh, news that has durability and it might be um, a bit slow coming but now at the end of the week you will have the news you've got the queen of stones so you've got the empress and the queen of stones is the queen of pentacles and she's also uh, known as the Mother Earth. She also stands for fertility or and birth of a child or a project. Growth. Um, as she's got the green fingers and she nurtures everything that she sows as well. And when it comes to fruition, to blossom, then she can harvest it. Or you might, like I said, you might be um, meeting an earth sign. This could be a gentleman but I think it's more likely um, that it could be a lady but it could also be you that is nurturing something and waiting for this news boom great stuff now at the weekend you have the ten of swords and thank goodness there's nobody lying in that suit of armor by the looks of it no oh, yes there is but it is a knight <laughs> and he's been through the walls well usually it is somebody lying on his back and not with his face upwards but there is definitely an ending an ending commun to communication an ending to ideas from someone else or perhaps your ideas have come to an end and they've come because they where there is an end there is a new beginning so perhaps your ideas can stop now because you're going to put them into action but you might have backache as well or you might uh, be uh, feel as if you're stabbed in your back there has been delays but you have taken the time um, uh, you you have taken time to think about it and you know your worries are coming to an end so don't worry where there is an ending there's a new beginning and it could become it could come unexpectedly as you have the bold or blasted oak and the blasted oak well you can already see somebody's falling down and the branch is breaking off that is the tower so this moment could come unexpectedly something is happening unexpectedly perhaps an end of a friendship an end of uh, a job but you're like I said you are on your way to a new job you might be moving from one job to the next to top it all is the overall energy is the wheel of fortune the wheel of f sorry it was this way the wheel of fortune what goes round comes round this is my karma card like the world if somebody has stabbed you in your back then that's the end of the friendship they are if they've done you wrong then they will get it back threefold if they've done you good they will get it back threefold the same with you you might be going up to the next level in work or in relationships like I said there is definitely a uh, recognition here and you're going onwards and upwards but you might be moving home and this card also confirms it you might be moving home this could be also moving from one business to an, uh, an other business or from one building to the next or being promoted you have the recognition a new beginning you might even be going on holiday shortly 
Okay, that is the overall energy. And you have the chariot. So you have really two cards that tell you you have victory. Three cards, in fact. And that is the six of wands. And you've got the chariot. And you've got the world. So you're moving on rapidly. Again, confirming moving home or moving from one business to the next. Public recognition again. Okay. The archer is known as the chariot. Brilliant. And the chariot could also be a cancer. You could uh, have something to do with a cancer. So it could be um, a queen of stone, the queen of pentacles. That could be um, a Virgo, Capricorn or a Taurus that could have stabbed you in your back. Um, or a cancer. And the Empress, she also represents, um, a th uh, she also represents a Libra. So it could be even a Libra. So those are the person cards, okay? Wow, that is amazing. Now, we're going on to the Animal uh, Spirit Oracle deck. And you've got the antelope. And that's number two. So you are coming back into balance. Life is speeding up definitely with the chariot and the six of wands and the wheel. When antelope spirit rushes into your life, you are being reminded of a quickening uh, of your personal uh, evolution as a powerful co-creator you are being told unequivocally that it is time to get moving set your intentions to take action toward making your dreams real the seven of vessels there is an intensity you can feel and it is important to take advantage of this en energy right now. If you have a plan for your career or financial abundance, now is the time to step it up. The Queen of Stones and the Empress. Make the investment right now. If you are asking about a relationship, make the first move. Move. Just know that the intentions you have set in motion are com coming toward you now at a rapid speed. Stay alert and keep up. Things are getting interesting when the antelope spirit calls you to move quickly. Amazing. Surrender to inner peace. Cultivate inner peace on a daily basis. In quiet meditative moments, focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily. Recognition. Boom, 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 boom. And the six of wands is also recognition. And the chariot. People can feel your good vibes, Aries. I hope you enjoy the coming week. And I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Remember, if it doesn't resonate with you, have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign. So take care and enjoy the week. Please share and like and stay safe and well. Love you all. Ciao, ciao.